Let me start with the immune system. It is a very complex system which consists of organs, cells and proteins. Now, a very important part of the immune system are the so-called lymphocytes. Lymphocytes can differentiate into different types of cells, NK cells, T cells and B cells. NK cells are natural killer cells. B cells and T cells, they recognize certain antigens of pathogens or, for example, also of tumors. We at Engimmune are taking advantage of the immune system twofold. First one is that we are identifying our T cell receptor of interest. There you need to think a little bit about that it is like finding a needle in a haystack. And we have developed methods and technologies to facilitate that. The second part is the so-called cell killing part. As soon as our TCR of interest has bound to the cancer antigen, we activate natural occurring T and NK cells to kill the cancer cells. We call that precision immunotherapy. Tumor antigens are proteins or peptides on the surface of tumors that are expressed in cancer cells, but not, for example, in healthy cells. And the way we engineer the specters so the soluble TCRs is just very, very specifically and with a very, very high affinity, so we call this ultra high affinity, bind the tumor cell, coat the tumor cell, and with the other part of the molecule, attract an immune cell to kill that tumor cell. So this is a dual action, and in some cases, a triple action molecule that can first engage a tumor cell through binding a peptide, and second, attract an immune cell with a different part of the molecule in order to kill that tumor cell. So this other cell that I mentioned is typically an immune cell such as a T cell, but also we work in on a subset of cells called natural killer cells or NK cells. If AI was not available, we would have to go through a lot of effort to develop our molecules. So what we do at Engimmune is that we use AI for two purposes. So the first purpose is to design a small subset or a smaller subset of this potential solutions to the problem, and also to predict what would be a good specter recognizing a tumor antigen with high affinity, so very, very high strength in binding and very high specificity. So this is, an understatement would be to this is a needle in a haystack, is really trying to find a very, very specific solution that you cannot screen fully in the lab without the help of AI. So AI really helps us to expedite this process and find the best solution to identifying a very good specter candidate um, to target a tumor antigen. Endymion Therapeutics is a small biotech company based here in Switzerland and we were co-founded about two years ago by our co-founders Rodrigo Vasquez Lombardi, our CSO, and Professor Cy Reddy at the ETH of Zurich. We have raised 15.5 million in venture capital about two years ago. Our aim is to develop soluble T-cell receptors, so-called spectres, which do kill cancer cells either by T-cell engaging or NK-cell engaging. We are working on three different molecules, which we aim to bring into the clinic in 2026. So Engimmune's mission is simple. So we aim to develop and deploy our AI-guided technologies to develop effective drugs against advanced solid tumors. That is our mission. And a secondary mission is to establish or help establish and cement soluble TCRs as a potent and effective uh, drug class uh, for oncology and in the future also for other diseases, so such as autoimmune disease and infectious disease, for example. Now looking a little bit more into the future, we can't stand still, so we have to work closely with research partners, either at the universities or at the hospitals. It is very important to further understand the so-called tumor microenvironment. Each cancer is different, and only if we understand the microenvironment of cancers, we can develop targeted therapies to overcome cancer as a deadly prognosis. We are working very much and very close together with a wide variety of leading experts in the field to bring the field forward.